and welcome, I'm your code monkey. And here, let's look at the awesome Mesh Extractor. If you're like me, you probably bought lots of asset packs. It's a really great way to plug any skill gaps. Like for example, I am not an artist. And thankfully nowadays, you can actually make entire games without any art skills. You can just buy asset packs to get the visuals for pretty much any game you want to imagine. The amount of awesome stuff you can get nowadays is truly insane. But sometimes those packs don't have the exact mesh that you're looking for. For example, here's a gorgeous package, it is a Toon Golden Valley. I've got it imported into a project over here, and look at this, this is a really gorgeous scene. This would be a really great level in pretty much any kind of game, like some kind of RPG. This pack has a ton of stuff, so here's a scene showing all of the objects inside this pack. And for example, over here there's this object, this really nice bed. So now let's say that I wanted a bed in my game, just like this one. However, I really just want, let's say, just the bed frame without the actual mattress itself or the pillow. I really don't want those things, I really just want the frame and nothing else. But in this case, this is all just one mesh, I can't really separate it just like this. I cannot just grab the exact part that I want. Now if you're an artist, you can probably just import this model into Blender and split it over there. But if you're not an artist like me, or if you really just want an easier method to do it directly inside Unity, if so, that's where this awesome tool comes in, the Mesh Extractor. This one tool that does exactly what it says basically allows you to extract meshes from other meshes. So for example here, you've got an entire pillar that has lamp, but you just want this lantern, you can easily just pick that, just extract that, and then you have just that one mesh. So I love this tool, this tool is really awesome just because it's basically a multiplier that acts on all of your assets. If you have tons of assets that have all kinds of meshes but you really just want one specific part, with this asset you can pretty much just cut that out and just use exactly what you want. So basically this tool over here helps you get more out of the assets that you already own. I've had this one for many years and it has helped me out a ton. The asset is currently on sale so check it out with the link in the description. As soon as you import the asset into your project you can see the manual right away. This is a very good, very detailed manual. And thankfully this asset is actually very very easy to use, so over here we're going to learn how to use it in just a few seconds. So again, back to my problem, I really just want to grab the bed frame and nothing else. I've already installed the Mesh Extractor into this project, so I'm just going to go into Tools, Mesh Extractor, Start. And now this asset is really awesome, but it does have one slight negative thing, at least something that I haven't figured out how to change it, which is how the asset itself basically it's set up to use with Unity with the Dark Mode. I normally use Light Mode, and using Light Mode you can see over here the text is in white, so we can't really see it. The asset does have some options, so over here we can see them but there's nothing here to swap from light mode to dark mode. Now I can still read and I can still read this a little bit. So I'm just going to swap out my editor for dark mode. So go into preferences and over here on general, I'm just gonna change it back into dark mode. Okay, so now we can see all the menus, all right. So again, this asset is super easy to use. So first of all, we just need to select some objects. So I'm going to select again the bed frame. There you go, let's go into next. And now we can select the polygons. And this is the really interesting part is how this whole thing, again, this whole thing is an entire mesh. And right now if I'm moving the mouse, I can actually see all the various polygons that make up this mesh. And basically I can just click and start selecting individual polygons in order to grab just the parts that I want out of this mesh. So I can manually go through this and try to pick all of them individually, I can manually do that. Or alternatively, there's a nice button over here that says select linked, so I can click on something, then click on select linked, and that basically automatically selects the object that I clicked. So over here that one selected just that little part of the bed frame, now click on this one, select linked, click on this one, select linked, so pretty much just going to do this to select exactly all the parts that I want out of this bed frame. So all of these like this, except for that one. Okay, so let's do the ones on the bottom, the ones over here, this one over here, and this one over here, and I think that's it. All right, so I've got the bed frame minus the actual mattress and the pillow, so exactly what I want. There are all kinds of other options you can play with here with the x-ray, with the selection, the burst size, and so on. Again, documentation for this asset is really awesome, so you can go here in order to figure out how all these things work. But like I said, for the most basic use case, for really just pricking out individual parts of mesh and taking them out, for that, it is really super easy to use. So over here, I've got this. Let's go into next. And I really, I can just give it some kind of name. Let's say bed frame. Then I can really just leave everything on defaults. And then I can go ahead, click on extract. And that's basically going to do that. It's going to go inside that mesh, grab just the parts that I selected and get those out as a separate mesh. And now if I look over here on the scene view, yep, there's a folder called extract meshes. And over here, I can see, yep, I've got that. So here is a nice prefab. We've got the materials, we've got the meshes and the various textures. And again, importantly, it only grabbed exactly those textures. So this whole pack contains a big texture for all these objects, but really only grabbed exactly just what I need for this one object and nothing else. So if there it is, there we have our separated mesh. Now I can just go ahead, drag this prefab over here. And if there it is, so just like that, I managed to take this mesh that was included in this asset, but it wasn't exactly 100% what I wanted. So I was able to modify it. I grabbed the separate mesh. And now here I've got a nice bed frame that I can do whatever I want to do. So yep, that's how awesome this is. You can take whatever asset specs you want, and if it doesn't have the exact mesh, the exact object that you're looking for, you can probably look at something that is similar and pretty much just grab the part the exactly that you want. Then, by the way, over here for the asset, you can look how that one is extracted as a dot asset file. This is pretty much just a Unity mesh. But if you want to take that asset and pretty much load it into something like Blender, if so, then Unity themselves have the FPX exported package. So this one pretty much converts a dot asset file into a dot FPX file, 
and pretty much any kind of 3D modeling software won't be able to open that one. So even like I said, this tool basically helps you get more out of the assets that you already own. So all of these assets, all of these objects, some of these are pretty much just one giant mesh. But with this tool, you can take something that is a giant mesh and really just split it into pieces and get exactly just the thing you want. And of course, when it comes to separating things, it is good not just for getting separate meshes, but really for making more variation. So for example, back here into our bed frame. So over here we have this, so we have the mattress with that little blanket. And that one has that kind of collar. Now let's say I want to modify this collar. Now one thing that a lot of low poly assets do is basically they share a material, they share a texture. And each object pretty much grabs a UV from a different part of that texture. So if you were to recolor this in the original texture, chance art would actually recolor a bunch of other things because they use the same mesh. So again, using this, we can just go ahead and open up the mesh extractor. In this case, let's clear the selection. Let's instead select just over here the blanket and the little thing. So this is going to be the mattress. So here it is. Now I've got a nice mattress. I can drag it in there. And now since this one, again, since this one dragged pretty much the exact texture, then I can open up this texture over here in Photoshop. Then I can recolor it, change it in any way I want. And again, this is only modifying just this texture for this one object. So over here, changing to something pretty crazy, something very drastic, let's say something like this. And over here, just use new texture. And if there I go, I've recolored that part. So when it comes to getting variation out of the asset you already own, this is also a great tool. The importantly is how it also works with skin meshes. So for example, if you've got some kind of characters and the characters are different. So for example, if you've got multiple characters and they have different things like different hats, different styling and so on, you can do the same thing. You can select only various parts of that skin mesh, then select parts from another mesh, then cut them off, paste them on the other mesh. And just like that, again, this tool is also super useful for basically getting more customization out of all of the assets that you already have. And of course, this tool is not just for low poly stuff. It works with pretty much anything. For example, I picked up this pack in order to try it out. So up here is a really cool, realistic military base. Here are all the various assets within this pack. And for example, out of all these, let's say, for example, over here, there's this drone and it has this missile. And if I select it, yep, there you go, it's part of an entire mesh. But now let's say I want just this missile. So again, same thing, this is super useful. I can open it up and really just start drawing, selecting these. And yep, like that, I've got most of the missile. So yep, I've got most of it selected. Now again, same thing, let's go into next, let's get it out. So this is going to be some kind of rocket. And if here it is, I've got the rocket, I've got the prefab, and if there it is, so I've got a nice rocket that I grabbed just from that one pack. I just want the rocket, nothing else, and yep, that's exactly what I got. So yep, this is an insanely useful tool. It basically helps you get more out of the asset that you already own. So that's why I said it basically acts like a multiplier on everything you already have. I've had this asset for a bunch of years and it has helped me out a ton. It is currently on sale, so I definitely recommend you get it. It's really just 20 bucks and allows you to get more out of every other asset pack you buy. Check it out, we'll link in the description. If you want to know more about some other awesome assets, check out my entire asset review playlist. There's definitely a bunch of awesome tools that can help you make better games faster. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.